my name is H.A. Pruitt and I'm the author of the Anathalian series and in this video I'm going to do a book review, not of Anathalian, of another book, of another fantasy book. So before I do the review I want to say it's so important to do reviews. If you read any book please do review the book on Amazon, on Goodreads, wherever you are on social media or wherever you tell people about books. Um, just spread the word about books because the word of mouth helps authors so much. So the book I'm going to review today is called Ivar, Blood and Steel by BP. I think you say the name Baggett. I don't know. Baguette? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's spelled B-A-G-G-E-T-T. -T. And so Ivar, Blood and Steel is an epic fantasy book. It takes place all in a fantasy world. And it is an adult book because, because of the violence and the evil in the book is like pretty intense. It's so sad. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, we're better. So the themes in the book are good versus evil, in the land, and inside a person. Um, the summary is Ivar, he is a boy, he's a prince, he's the king's son, and he is growing up in privilege, and he's looking around him and seeing people who are not in privilege, and he has a good heart in the beginning. Um, but then his father is murdered, the king is murdered, and the royal family has to flee, and while they're fleeing, Ivar gets um, taken away from his family by the Red Horde, and then he has to grow up in the Red Horde, and um, he becomes an assassin for kind of their leader guy, and kills people for them. But, <laughs> but all the while, he has this inner struggle, this voice inside him that is fighting what he wants to do because he once knew what was good, Versus this voice inside him, which is evil, which is evil and trying to get him to do what is evil and kill more people. So that's the summary of the book. There's more to it, but that's the summary. The positives of the book are that Ivar is a really likable character. He starts off as likable and you want to like him because he started off as likable. And so even when he starts listening to that evil voice and doing evil things, you still want to like him and want to root for him to do good. And so when a main character is likable and you want to root for him, it gets you to keep reading the book. So that was a big positive. Also, the battle of good versus evil with an Ivar was a clear and relevant message. It was a message anyone can relate to of having to choose between what you want to do um, and what's right or what is wrong, but you still think it could benefit you versus what would not benefit you but is right. And anyone can relate to that. We all struggle with choosing what is right or what is wrong. <laughs> I have a voice with me that's fighting me right now. And the, another positive is the white toy whale scene. I thought that was really good. Um, it would be a spoiler if I told you why I liked it, but it was kind of a turning point. And so the white toy whale scene was a positive in the book that stuck out to me even after I finished reading. And then you can tell a lot of effort went into building the world and its history in this book. And so you can really appreciate like the maps in the back of the book and that um, the author really put a lot of thought into the world and the history and the cultures and the different groups of people throughout the, his land, um, so his world. So that was really good. So the negatives of Ivar Blood and Steel are the technical aspects of writing could have been handled with more care. The spelling and the grammar and the sentence structure had errors in it that often made it difficult to understand the story. And there were enough that um, it was a negative. I don't um, knock books if they just have a few mistakes because like my books probably have a few mistakes and it's hard to catch them all. But I think um, some developmental editing and some line editing would have made this book um, just even better than it already was because the story is absolutely there. The message is absolutely there. How it is conveyed um, could have been a little bit, could have been a lot better. Um, so also, <laughs> this might be a preference thing, but the story contained a lot of violence and a lot of gore and it was described and it was yucky and um, it was a lot of violence. And I understood that you had to have a lot of violence to really make the point of how evil these people were. But I think it could have been done with less description 
or I mean, there was ex it was excessive the violence, and I think the point really would have been made without so much because it was just like violence after violence after violence, and I think the point could have been made without it. Um, and also the sexual references also felt excessive, and the references were not like romantic or anything like that. They were like bad sexual things, like people doing bad things to other people in bad ways. And that just made, it was just like creepy and made me feel uncomfortable. And so again, the violence and the sexual references were just kind of a personal thing, but if you're not comfortable with that, you probably wouldn't be comfortable with it um, in the book. And yeah, again, it showed how evil the people were. It really made that point clear, but it was, it was just kind of excessive too. Also, um, the story contained some loose ends that never got wrapped up, like you started a couple ideas, but they were never really wrapped up. And so when it ended, you kind of felt like, but what about what happened to this person? And what about that person? And what about this part of the story? And so it left you kind of wondering what, what was happening. And you don't, you know, you don't have to have all the answers as a reader, but it left you a little bit dissatisfied. Um, so overall, I think this book has a really good story and a really good message about how we have to make the choice between good and evil and we constantly struggle with that and we can do some good things but still do some bad things and that war is constant within us as humans so i think that was the best part of the story that it shows a real human struggle that a lot of people deal with that everybody deals with um so again this is ivar Blood and Steel, and I will tell you how to find the author in the next slide. You can find Ivar, Blood and Steel on Amazon, and you can find out more about the author and his book by following him on Instagram at BP Baguette. So that is my book review of Ivar, Blood and Steel. If you read that book, if you read the Anna Thalian series, please, or if you read any book, please review books. It is so important to authors. Um, if you liked this video, please like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please comment, please share this video, and thank you for watching. Bye! If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian, or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is hapruitt.com. I am a tree. I am not here. Oh, I'm so hot. I can't get this coat off. I'm stuck. And I have a baby carrier. I'm so stuck. <laughs> I can't get out of this hood.